With this geometry node generator, you can add ivy to any object. It's included in my nature pack, the bonus asset pack. Let's see how to use it. Then I will show how to make the generator. I'll do a breakdown of the nodes I'm using. First things first, you can drag and drop the ivy tool. There are two versions with different lips. Now let's go into edit mode, select all the vertices and delete them. Now make sure to select the draw tool. And now I can draw lines to create the vines. Let me go to modifiers. I can make some adjustments. I can change the curve scale and scale down the leaves. I can also change the distance between the leaves. You can also change the rotation of the leaves. I recommend to activate surface. It will stick to any surface. Also, I like to increase offset just a little bit. In collection, you can select a different collection if you want. If you want to convert it to mesh, make sure to check this box. Then right click, convert to mesh. We need to do it this way because we cannot apply the modifier. Now let me use cursor. It will draw the binds based on your cursor location. Okay, so now let's see the notes I'm using. You will need a curve. I'm using a Bezier curve. Open Geometry Node Editor. And as you can see, I'm using a Set Position Node. Then a Curve to Mesh. In Profile, I used a Curve Circle. I can change the resolution and radius. Then I added a Set Material. This is the material for the curve. Then a Join Geometry, connected to a Distribute Points on Faces, set to Poisson Disk, so I can control the minimum distance and density. Then I used an Instance on Points, and here I added the collection. This collection has the leaves that I'm using. Let's see the models. These are just planes with texture with an alpha channel. These are photos that I took, but you can find images on the internet. Let's go back to the editor. Now to scale the leaves, I used a random value node connected to scale. For rotation, I used another random value, but set to vector so I can change the rotation on any axis. Then I added a new join geometry and I need to connect instance on points and also connect the curve, otherwise I won't be able to see the curve. Finally, in case I want to convert to mesh, I can use a Realize Instances node. Simply right click, convert to mesh. Keep in mind that without this node, convert to mesh won't work.